Hello and welcome all of you. So today I have come up with the description of the universal structure and beyond. What is beyond this universe? So we know according to modern science also and according to Vedic science also both modern science and Vedic science is telling that there are more than one universe. So the universal structure, the structure and the basic facts about this material world and beyond this material world, the spiritual world, the basic things we will, I will try to show from this uh, chart and you can get a basic idea of about the material world and the spiritual world the features of the material world the material creation and the spiritual world you can get the basic understanding of that and everyone should have that understanding so let us begin with the explanation so you can see here this is Karano Dakshai Vishnu so this is one of the Vishnu incarnations now Karano Dakshai Vishnu from his pores of his body these ball like structures are coming out you can see so many balls are there so this one one ball which is coming out of the pore of Lord Vishnu's body and this Vishnu is called as Karano Dakshai Vishnu so this one one ball represents one one universe that one universe is described here you can zoom in and you can see the one universe description is here so you see here that there are seven layers there are seven layers in the covering of each universe so one two three four five six and seven earth water fire air ether false ego mahatattva so these are the seven layer covering of each universe this entire universe is covered with these seven layer covering now inside every universe there is garbhodakshai vishnu so this garbhodakshai vishnu is inside every universe and from his lotus navel you see from the navel of Lord Garbhodakshai Vishnu a lotus stem is coming up and in the top of the stem Lord Brahma is born so Lord Brahma is the first engineer of the universe and Lord Brahma by getting power from Garbhodakshai Vishnu he is creating the planetary systems and the species in one universe so every universe has a Brahma so our universe has a Brahma who has four heads Chaturmukhi Brahma now other universes are there in those universes also there are Brahmas and those Brahmas may have more heads thousand headed Brahma one lakh headed Brahma like that so now Brahma created these 14 planetary systems these 14 planetary systems we are at the Bhur Lok the middle the earth planetary system above the Bhur Lok there is Bhubar Lok then there is Swarga Loka then there is Mahar Loka then there is Jana Loka then there is Tapa Loka, then there is Satya Loka at the top, right? There are six planetary systems above the Bhu Loka. Bhubar Loka, Swarga Loka, Mahar Loka, Jana Loka, Tapa Loka and topmost is Satya Loka. Now Satya Loka, this is the planetary system where Lord Brahma resides. This is the home of Lord Brahma. So Bhu Loka, the earthly planetary system is the middle one and below this earthly planetary system there are seven lokas atal vital sutal talatal mahatal rasatal patal 
right? So seven lokas below the bhur loka, six lokas above the bhur loka, and the bhur loka itself. So how many total it becomes? Seven below, six above, and the bhur loka in between. The bhur loka or bhur loka, whatever you tell, the same thing, right? So total how much? Fourteen planetary systems. Remember that fourteen planetary systems are there, and in each universe there are fourteen planetary systems, right? So there is here you can see there is Dhruva Loka also. This is Dhruva Tara. This is fixed. This does not get destroyed. The Dhruva Loka does not get destroyed. And you can see another abode of Kiro Dakshai Vishnu. Mm -hmm. Kiro Dakshai Vishnu is present as Paramatma in everyone's heart. Mm -hmm. So this Kiro Dakshai Vishnu has his abode here. When there is problem in the earth, the demigods go to the demigods headed by Lord Brahma goes to Kiro Dakshai Vishnu for help. And Kiro Dakshai Vishnu tells that incarnation of Lord will come very soon. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Like that it happens. Now if you come. Beyond this entire, you see here, this entire region, which is consisting of innumerable universes, this material world has thousands and thousands and thousands of universes. कोई एक universe नहीं है, हजारों लाखों करोड़ों universes हैं. And you can see so many universes are coming out from the pore of Lord Karuna Dakshay Vishnu's body. जब Karuna Dakshay Vishnu apna swas chhodta hai when he when he exhales swas jab chhodta hai unka jo pores hai body ka from the pores of his body innumerable universes are coming out and when he takes back the breathing inhales all the universes are again entering into his body and all the living entities enter into the body of Karuna Dakshay Vishnu now let us come beyond this material world. So material world consists of unlimited universes. Unlimited. Uska koi bhi sankhya hum log measure nahi kar sakte. Abhi dekhiye. Ab now you come above the material world. You come to the Brahma Jyoti platform. Beyond this material world is the Brahma Jyoti. So this Brahma Jyoti you have to understand what is Brahma Jyoti. The Brahma Jyoti is actually the rays which are coming out from Lord Krishna's body. Lord, the spiritual effulgence which is coming out from Lord Krishna's body, the supreme person, Lord Krishna's body, वहाँ से उनका शरीर से जो effulgence निकलता है, वो है Brahma Jyoti. Now you come to this place. This place is filled with the Brahma Jyoti, the the spiritual rays which are coming from the body of Lord Krishna. Hmm? Effulgence, spiritual effulgence is there coming out. Hmm? So this Brahma Jyoti area. So now yogis and the rishis who want to get moksha, hmm? ko moksha prapti karna hota hai, want to get to, uh, they want to merge into this Brahma Jyoti, hmm? the Brahman effulgence. Hmm? The moksha prapti matlab idhar tak jana. But here one cannot remain permanently because there is no relationship, there is no reciprocation possible in this Brahma Jyoti. Everyone is, Atma is alone out there. So it again falls back, even if they, they, they get moksha, they again come back to the material world and take birth in this material world. So this is the zone of Brahma Jyoti. Now here you can see that there is Sada Shiva Loka. Here, zoom here. Sadashiva Loka is there. So here in this Sadashiva Loka, the original Shivji ah. is residing here. Hmm. Now, this is the Sadashiva Loka, and below is the Devi Dham. Hmm. That is the material world consisting of innumerable universes. Already we described that, right? The entire material world, I forgot to tell one thing. The entire material world is under the jurisdiction of Durga Devi. That is why the material world is also called as Devi Dham or Mahakal Dham, whatever it is told, right? So, let us come beyond the Brahma Jyoti. Now you see here, 
this place, the Vaikuntha Dham. In the Vaikuntha Dham, there are innumerable Vaikuntha planets. Now we are coming to the spiritual world. Brahma Jyoti se upar chala gaya, Brahma Jyoti ke upar se spiritual world chalu ho gaya, right? Now we are coming to the description of the uh, spiritual world. Material world ka description ho gaya, abhi spiritual world ka description mein hum aa rahe. Hmm? To ye jo sthan hai, isme dekhiye, here there are innumerable Vaikuntha planets are there. Hmm? Unlimited. And each and every, you can zoom here, each and every uh, Vaikuntha planet, the Lord has a particular name. Like Pradyumna, like Vamana, like Rama, like Trivikrama, like Janardana. The Vishnu Murtis are there. The Vishnu Murtis are uh, here present. Lord Sridhar, uh, Lord Vishwasena, uh, Lord Parashurama. So all the uh, Vishnu Lokas are there. So there are innumerable, uh, innumerable Vishnu planets or the Vaikuntha planets or har ek Vaikuntha planet mein har ek Vaikuntha planet mein Vishnu char haath char bhujao wala jo Vishnu Shankh Chakra Gada Padma ye char haath se jo Vishnu murti virajman hai ek ek Vaikuntha planets mein to ek ek Vishnu ka naam ek ek hai kisi ka naam Janardan hai kisi ka naam Vaman hai kisi ka naam Pradyumna hai is tarike se hai now let us come beyond the Vaikuntha Loka. Beyond above the Vaikuntha Loka is Ayodhya Dham. Come and here, zoom here. Ayodhya Dham. Here, Bhagwan Ramka. This is the eternal abode of Lord Rama. Lord Ramachandra, along with Sita Devi, along with Hanumanji, along with Lakshman. Ayodhya Dham. When Bhagwan Ramachandra comes to the material world, he also takes Ayodhya Dham to the material world. Mein. That's why the Ayodhya we see in Uttar Pradesh, so called, you know, in the material world. That Ayodhya is actually the reflection of this eternal Ayodhya, the eternal spiritual planet of Ayodhya. Now, above Ayodhya, you come here. You see, above Ayodhya Dham is Dwarka Dham. Jo Dwarka Dham hum log dekhte hai, Gujarat mein, Western India mein hai. To wo Dwarka Dham, Bhagwan Krishna jab aya, unka Dwarka Dham dekhe aya. Spiritual world say. Now above Dwarka Dham is Jagannath Puri Dham in the spiritual world. And above Jagannath Puri Dham is Mathura Dham. Or Sapsi Upar hai ye Golok Dham. Golok Vrindavan Dham. This is Goloka. You see? So nice petals. It's like the flower, you know, lotus petals in, the, in this way it is uh, there in the spiritual world. Now this is Golok Dham. And this Golok Dham, there are two chambers. One is Golok Vrindavan and one is Golok Navadip. Hmm? There are two chambers. Krishna Avatari hai. Hmm? Avatar nahi hai. Hmm? To Krishna ka Avatar bhoot sar hai. Ram hai, Nashing Dev hai, Vaman Dev hai, ah, Varaha Dev hai, ah, Kalki Avatar ane wala hai. Hmm? To Bhagawan ka bhoot sar incarnations hai. Lekin Bhagawan Krishna jo hai. Krishna is the source of all incarnations. He is the fountain head of all incarnations. And that Supreme Lord, who is the original source of all avatars, is residing in Golok Dham. And that Golok Dham has two chambers. One is Golok Vrindavan, where Lord Krishna is performing his eternal pastimes with the gopis, the gopas, Mother Yashoda, Nanda Maharaj, with everyone. And there is an other chamber is Lord Chaitanya. Lord Chaitanya is Lord Krishna himself. Krishna and Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, there is no difference. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this is the Golok Navadip Dham. So we know that Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he came in this planet, in this earth, 500 years back, so he came with his Dham. That is the Golok Navadip Dham. So Navadip Mayapur that we see in our external vision in West Bengal, India, that is actually the same Navadip Dham of the spiritual world which is getting reflected out here. So Golok Vrindavan and Golok Navadip. This is the Golok Dham, the topmost Dham, the topmost spiritual planet 
of the spiritual world and the goal of the human form of life is to go back to this Golok Dham and serve the Supreme Lord eternally. Hare Krishna. Thank you.